The way reporters submit single SARS is changing. As part of the SARS reform programme, we are replacing the current SAR online portal with a more modern, robust and reliable digital service. This is part of the wider improvements being made to the end-to-end -end SARS digital services. There is a clear case for needing to make significant improvements to the current SAR online portal. Reporters across the regulated sector have highlighted concerns regarding the service being outdated, difficult to navigate and sometimes unreliable. Feedback from the UKFIU reporter engagement team highlight issues regarding SAR data quality based on the schema used within the portal. For example, reporters consistently use the reason for suspicion free text field to provide detail of a SAR that should be submitted in other parts of the form, making the data difficult to read and exploit. Other limitations within the current system affecting SAR quality include a lack of sector-specific templates, and manual data entry rather than drop down or multiple choice fields. Here we can see part of the current portal. There is very limited data validation, structured fields and mandatory fields within each page. This means that reporters are often able to submit SARS without important information or with errors. There are numerous free text fields within the current portal making SAR analysis more difficult for the UKFIU and partner organisations. The limitations of the current SAR online portal impact the work the UKFIU carries out day to day. In FY 2021, 3,558 of the DAML SARs received by the UKFIU required at least one RFI letter to be sent to the reporter. In simple terms, this means the UKFIU spends a significant proportion of time trying to gain the essential information from reporters, something which, through an improved system, could be easily avoided. This means resources are focused on improving SAR quality rather than providing more engagement on the use of SARS and what the regime is actually achieving. We are making improvements to the SAR online portal in four significant ways. Firstly, we will future-proof the service, making it more robust and reliable and able to improve incrementally in the future. Secondly, we will improve the reporter user experience by modernising and standardising the interface and including elements such as increased embedded guidance. The introduction of greater standardisation through more structured and mandatory fields will seek to improve data quality, ease of analysis and exploitation of SAR information. These improvements to the data schema will support the provision of more meaningful insights for the UKFIU and partners. Here you can see a demo of the new SAR online portal. The demo shows a selection of screens to illustrate the new functionality that will support actors across the SAR regime. Please note that the new SAR online portal is still undergoing development and will be refined through further system build and improvements based on user feedback. The portal has been developed in alignment with government digital service standards to improve accessibility and user experience for reporters. It mirrors the look and feel of other gov.uk websites. Each page will look similar to the screen shown here. In this example, a reporter would be asked to select whether the main subject in question is a person or a legal entity. The user must then click Save and Continue to progress to the next page. If they attempt to click this button without selecting one of the two options, an error message will appear. As with every page on the new portal, the reporter will not be able to progress until they have input the required information or have selected an option. The Save and Continue button has been added to every page to ensure that user progress through the SAR report is not lost and reporters no longer have to double key information elsewhere. The next page is a good example of where we have included additional information to clarify the question. For all questions on the new SAR online portal, we are able to add clarifications if this will help guide the user through. We have introduced a number of mandatory fields across the portal to ensure the UKFIU receive all the necessary information and do not have to contact the reporter because information is missing. In this example form, the person's first name and last name are the only two mandatory fields. 
the user will not be able to progress to the next screen without completing both. The portal has been developed in this way to guide reporters through in an easier and more logical manner. The programme has been working with the UKFIU to get feedback on sections of the new portal. Feedback from the systems team notes that the improvements we've already seen within the new SAR online portal wireframes are extremely positive for reporters, the UKFIU and partner organisations. Greater standardisation in the new portal, for example, a greater number of structured fields will help to resolve significant legacy issues with data quality. It will also help to produce more robust MI data that can inform external guidance to support the regime to combat threats to the UK economy and ultimately make the UK a hostile place for money laundering and economic crime. In the coming weeks, we will be gathering wider user feedback on the new SAR online portal. The first four feedback sessions have been scheduled for July 2021. They will be undertaken with a selection of reporters from different sectors to ensure representation. These initial sessions will focus on the defence section of the new online portal. Further improvements will be made to the portal to enhance the user experience and support exploitation of SAR data.